thing is what you've got to do is uh, as the boss and a leader you've got to lead by example and you've got to, but also you've got to take control and maintain that air of authority now we're with jack just here now jack what's going to happen today is we're going to get all the slabs out we're going to stack them up nice and tidy then we're going to start doing the sub base okay yeah after a coffee <laughs> Jonathan and Justin, we have got a delivery coming, but we want to get on with it. So we've gone and collected some of the paving this morning. What we've got, Jack? Um, what, we, what sort of porcelain have we got? Nice porcelain. Looks good. It's got a couple of packs in there. One point twos, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they're one point twos. Yeah, one point twos by uh, six hundreds. Just stop for a moment now, and uh, it's amazing, really, isn't it? When you when we look at this area here, and how we had that big pile of saw there yesterday, and we went over that beach edge. Uh, all right, a couple of branches got broke, but it's it's in good shape. And uh, we put the boards down, we put the sheet down. There is a little bit of it does want a bit of a wash down now, but we got out on a dry day, and it's away. So it doesn't matter whether you're doing you know a commercial product project or even a DIY project you know don't let it beat you you know when there's times when it looks as if it's impossible you you just gotta just gotta plow on with it and uh, you know and just don't panic but just try and choose your days wisely I'm trying to level ground off on here now so that if it does rain um, we can stay off it and it's leveled off um, a little bit more gradually bit by bit each day we're not gonna be laying any uh, grass on here for a while simply because we're going to be getting on with that and preparing our sub base we've recycled uh, a lot of the old hardcore and it's worked it's absolutely solid it's not going to go anywhere at all uh, you'll see on one of the previous videos i was able to drive the uh, digger across um, that porcelain paving and uh, you know we do make sure that our paving is put in correctly so we're going to get on and continue with that sub base this morning and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of that in a time lapse. Come on, get it going. I'm going to show you how they're packing the porcelain now. Look at this. You know, obviously they have these little caps there. You can just see there. They have these end caps to protect the corners of the porcelain. And they've also, in the packaging, they've got this 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 contraption here which is to protect it again which they they need to uh, because it's it's a good product but it, it is still a durable product and uh, can look absolutely stunning when it's in and we've noticed this morning uh, in a local supplier that we went to uh, just just standing back and looking at the amounts of stock that he had in there it was mostly porcelain this stuff is catching on is when you're running a landscape business one of the most important things that you need is to have a good landscape team with you and uh i can't seem to find one <laughs> i'm really excited today it's, it's all coming together um what we're doing and just just going to say now uh, we're 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 getting the bed exactly right aren't we jack yeah we're getting the bed absolutely perfect so it will reduce the laying time, the most important thing to do is, as I always say, it's about the longevity, it's about the belt and braces. But what's important is it's about just the preparation to reduce the amount of time that you're actually laying the product itself. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing in this case, we've got uh, our Lemix bear down, our hardcore, that's all in place. But we're just going to fine it off with a nice screen mix over the top, aren't we boys? Yeah. That's it.
Right, okay, what we're doing here is we're, we're reverting to old style here where we're putting a screed in. That's what we're doing, we're putting a screed in and uh, I've been procrastinating for some time about this but by putting a screed in, we're getting our force correct now, right from the word go, okay? Uh, we haven't got anything else to do today, so um, we've got some of the paving here, it's raining now. And what this allows us to do is to get the, the levels and the falls absolutely perfect, absolutely bang on. And as a result of that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ensure that we, we will not be using so much bedding mortar, okay? And maybe it will, well I know it will, it will offer some different options into laying and what product we can use. We can possibly use an exterior um, big format adhesive on this on this this screen it's gonna work but we're getting the levels we need to get it right we're using porcelain for goodness sake Well, there we are. We're putting a screed on on this one, and uh, I think it's it's going to be real, a lot more beneficial because it's just going to be that rigid system. It's going to, it's nice and flat. We 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 won't we don't have to use so much uh, bedding mortar. Uh, but the only thing is, it's starting to rain out, and it's okay as long as it doesn't rain too much. But uh, it could ruin it in some respect. But the cement, as soon as you you get that water out of the minute, it does start going off. Uh, is Jack now? Well, I was filming all this in, in uh, time lapse, but I do want to get the, the camera wet now. And uh, But as you can see, uh, that finished level is looking absolutely fantastic for us to, to lay our porcelain on. That brick edge has got to come out, but we're just using that as a guideline as well, though we're working to some levels as well. But uh, it's looking good, looking good. Please look. So why have we put the screed on today then, John, and not our normal way that we do it? You know, Jack, you know why we put it on. The reason we put it on is, um, this is for the benefit of our viewers, I just feel, and when you're laying porcelain, each level, certainly with porcelain, just needs to be refined. It's a different sort of product. It's different from sandstone. It's different from what guys have been laying for years. Even people like me, I've been laying it a long time. I'm laying sandstone, laying concrete slabs, whatever, laying, whatever we've been laying. You know, we've got to adapt to different processes. Porcelain, <laughs> invariably, it's a tile. That's what it is. But it's an external tile with this, with this 20 centimetre. They are bringing out a 3CM, a 30 millimetre porcelain tile. It's out now. It's out there. It's being laid ac across the states and across the world. And uh, you can lay that on a, on, a, on, a, on a sand screed. This isn't a sand screed. This is a cement screed. This is what you would do on a kitchen floor. So I'm just trying to adapt and uh, refine my layer methods. And I think, well, I don't think I know. The fact is with this, what you're gonna find is that your mortar, what you're laying with, is gonna to adhere to this better. It's gonna stick better to this than what it would be if you were laying on a sub base. It's as simple as that. It's gonna to adhere to this be better because you've got mortar basically on mortar, okay? When you lay in mortar on a sub base, a tight one, it's okay if you're using thick slab, but what happens is that sub base, it can soak up, it can swell, and you know about ground swells, uh, Jack, the, 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 um, the sub base can swell up and it can move. With this, we create a rigid paving system. I've not finished on this yet. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna smooth this off a little bit more. This is almost is gonna be as good as the paving we're laying. 